it's Julie Broad with Revenue.com and I'm coming at you with another video from our series on adding a legal suite to a rental property. And you can probably hear the echo around me as I am standing in a uh, bedroom, formerly the pink bedroom or one of several pink bedrooms if you've been watching this whole series. Uh, so this, we're now in the process of painting and it's a nice polished pearl color behind me, um, but we're just on coat one, so there's still more to go. So there's lots happening. Um, just want to let you know though, if you're looking for week seven, there isn't one. I was in Mexico uh, and you're probably looking at me going, if you were in Mexico, why aren't you tanned? And just know that I feel the same way. <laughs> All right, week eight. This week, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the challenges of buying things on sale. I am a huge fan of buying things on sale. However, it can pose some challenges if you try to buy everything on sale. And I'm just going to give you an example that we encountered. I bought all of our flooring on sale. So this room that we're in right now, you can see this used to be the pink room. Uh, and now we have laminate floor and we're working on the paint and I bought all the laminate on sale. I got all of our flooring was basically 99 cents per square foot. So I'm saving lots of money on flooring by buying it on sale. Usually, however, what you'll find with flooring that's really discounted is they're clearing out stock that they don't even carry anymore. So we had a challenge with um, the flooring in uh, the fireplace room downstairs because we were short 10 boxes. So we had our office manager calling every Home Depot on the island, on Vancouver Island, to try and track down 10 more boxes of it. We eventually found some in Campbell River, had it shipped to Nanaimo, and we're okay, and, and uh, we had enough. But because we tend to stockpile when things are on sale, we don't always have the right quantities. So we end up with seven boxes left over or short some. So there are challenges with buying things on sale. So we've got enough flooring in the end, but we also have another challenge because I have been looking for light fixtures and vanities and mirrors on sale as well. We found a vanity and it was a really good price and it came with a mirror. So we went and we bought it. We got it back here and I was looking at the paint that I almost always choose the same colors so that you know the flooring I almost always buy will work with the paints. Um, but when we got it back here, we looked at the vanity and we realized, well, it sort of matches with the tub and the toilet because, you know, if you've got a white tub and a white toilet, you want to have a white sink. We have a bone toilet and a bone tub, so ideally you have a bone sink. So it had a white sink, but it, it, the marble countertop had some bone in it, so I thought we could get away with it. It did not look good with the flooring that I got on sale. So I was faced with the challenge of do I find new flooring or do I replace the vanity? And I toyed with the idea of new flooring and looked into it, uh, but none of the kind that I would buy to make it all work was on sale. And frankly, uh, the vanity just, it wasn't right. It was on sale and I bought it because I was saving $200, but at the end of the day, I'm just gonna, I took it back and I'm sucking it up and I'm gonna go buy the proper vanity, the proper size, the right colors to make it work. Because if you're going to all the effort to do a major renovation, you don't want it to look like everything was on sale. You don't want it to look like you pieced everything together. And we've encountered this challenge before. Uh, you know, you may have read or heard buying things at Restore. Uh, the Habitat for Humanity store is a great way to go. And it absolutely is. If you can find, you know, the right pieces for you, it's a great resource. However, there's always challenges with that too. And one year we bought a sink there because we needed a bone colored sink and we were looking for something that would match. So we bought the sink, we cut out the, the spot in the countertop, put the sink in and the sink leaked. Just a little hole, but still we then had to spend a day and a half trying to find another sink that was that exact size to replace that sink that we'd got for really cheap at Restore. It is challenging. So I want you to give yourself a break. Try and find things on sale if you can. Stock up on the stuff you use all the time. You know, there's certain light fixtures that we always use. There's certain laminate flooring that we always use. You know, paint, if, you're, if you want to buy paint on sale, it's a great way to save money. So stock up on those things, but know that it's gonna be very challenging to get everything on sale. And if you do try to do it that way or try to use, use a lot of used stuff, it might end up looking 
like you pieced it together and that it's not a brand new renovation and you don't want that. So I just wanted to give you a cautionary tale and also give you permission to buy a few things that aren't on sale so you can make your entire renovation look awesome. So I'll see you next week, even though we're going through Christmas now, there's still lots going on and I'll see you next week when I have uh, more of an update and a few more lessons and challenges that we've been facing. Uh, I'll tell you about that then. So we'll see you then.